Well, hello then, and welcome to Hi. EFAB hello. Catch Up Super Chats Hi. for episode hello. 255, The Quiz Game, which I'm mm. sure will mm -hmm. get a sequel in future because it was well loved and liked, the notion, the yes. idea of it. Who knows what will happen in the future? Until then, Who knows we're going to. What tortures you've prepared for us, yeah. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to answer some of the messages that were sent to us during, during the stream, so. We're going to start the first one. It says, be careful, boys. Doing is now fine according to you two. It says, D-O star I-N-G. D-O star I-N-G. Dogging? You Isn't can't that with dog. with two Gs? Doll, Do dolling, dolling, dolling. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I don't know. All right. Damn you, YouTube. Farewell and adieu to you fair massive fleems. Farewell and adieu to you massive of uh, fleems, fair fleemish massives. Always get confused. What did he say, Mahler? Uh, that was what? close enough, right? <laughs> like that's, no. It's called English. I need all the context. I need all the context. He said, farewell. Hi, I'm gay actor Michael Douglas. Look up The Unkindness of Crows. It's a very well-written horror flick. Check it out. It's currently the highest-funded British film on Kickstarter. Mm -hmm. Is it like a crow film where they kill people? The crows? The crows kill people? The crow? Well, Is it a sequel crows, to the movie? Uh, Wasn't that the crow? Ah! Sounds like people are like, oh no, the crows, they're coming to get me. Hi, Massives. There is a great horror film from Frangolius Maximus's country, redacted, called Lake Mungo. You fellows would love it. Oh, I've heard of Lake Mungo. I am aware of Lake Mungo. As far as I know, it's a very unconventional movie in that it's shot like a documentary, but it's not. And it's like a... We're talking to all of the people involved in the event uh, as it's unfolding, I think. That's what I've heard. I, 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 am, I am interested in seeing it. We'll try and check it out. I've sometime. not heard of it myself, actually. Um... Hey, Fringo, Ringo, Dingo, Bingo. What is your favorite film made in Australia? Uh, I usually default to Gallipoli uh, from the 80s. That's a, that's a really good movie. There you go. A big high rags. Hello. There you go. And hashtag Grumbo is besto. Is uh, quite true, actually, yes. Yeah. Hi, I'm gay actor Michael Douglas, here to promote Jennifer Murphy's next big hit. Quote, I want to be... Wait, I don't think I read that. <laughs> They're doing tricksy letters to make me say things. You want to... Yeah, don't you, you, fall for their tricks. Yeah, don't you'll... Fall for it. But I've never, I've never heard of okay. Jennifer Murphy. You guys familiar with this, this person? No. no, I don't know who that is. Nor am I familiar. I support Grumbo because I like John. Oof. That's how it gets, how it fair, gets man. Huh? The, the team sports, you know, it gets bloody. The producers of Sonic Superstars and Mario Wonder have very similar names. This proves Saren is a traitor. Does it? I guess so. Hmm. Hard to argue with that. After three playthroughs of Sonic Superstars, this gay actor has only good things to say about it. Very solid title. $60 is a bit much, granted, but it's still a great 2D Sonic game. Hmm. Apparently, um, I saw Extra Credits made another video game pricing video. Oh, did and they? It is not being received well at all. Yeah, it's like oh, half and half. Saying that it sh the game should cost more. Uh, this might be a spiritual sequel to that, but the uh, harmful opinions uh, kind of covered it a bit. It's basically that are you games are cheaper now than they've ever been. Hmm. Okay. But it is. But and it leaves off that. Did you like, know that? Right therefore, this why moment, are you are mentioning left. this or talking about it or like, like what's the you know the, the point of this? The purpose of saying that in a way. Have they got credit, uh, credits? Have they got comments yeah. on? Oh, do they have? I haven't gone to the original video before. I saw the like to dislike, though. Hmm. Well, who knows? Maybe we could finally return to extra credits. It's been some time. Oh, boy. I've uh, noticed they have, like, insane... They, they have, they've had insane drop-off in terms of, like, views and notoriety over the years. But they changed, uh, at some point, their died. writers, right? Or something? Like, the... And it, it, like, tanked in terms of quality. That's why I remember people talking about when we last covered them. I'm yeah. not 100% sure. Uh, it isn't about winning. It's about having fun. May everyone have fun and a happy Halloween. Love to all. Aw. 
Oh, thank you. It's nice. Happy but, Halloween, everybody. Yeah, about having fun. That's true. Yeah. But uh, you know, speaking from the winning team, uh, it is fun to win. <laughs> I'm really thankful that Sonic Team had little involvement in Superstars. It had to have helped a lot. You can tell how much polish it has in it. Ah. That's uh, kind of interesting that that's the case, that like Sonic Team kind of don't have an amazing reputation when it comes to making Sonic games. Yeah. It's kind of like 343. It's all you do, mm. and people aren't happy with how you do it. I guess it's funnier yeah. with Sonic Team because they're called Sonic Team. <laughs> <laughs> like, right, like three, Sonic four, three. Team. They could one day be like, Halo "Oh, you team. know, three, four, three. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Halo team. Um, I, I, it is. I mean, recent news with Microsoft laying off companies and stuff like that. Um, I don't know what the hell is going on over at Microsoft in terms of divvying up developers to projects and IPs and firing and hiring. And I, I have no clue what's happening over there. It just well, seems everything's bizarre. got to be in flux now with uh, Activision Blizzard as uh, a component of the business because that that changes a lot. Now they own Call of Duty, like that. That's probably I uh, I don't know what that means in terms of uh, you know what kind of decisions they're going to be making for its release. Um, I think they've got like Call of Duty is uh, still going to be in PlayStation for a while, but I mean it's probably inevitable that it won't be. Uh, whether it releases on Game Pass or stuff like that, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, they're a different they're a different company now. Uh, Superstars has good controls, level design, physics, music, visuals, etc. I didn't. Okay. Play it. Are you uh, Are you going to check it out for you? You're more of a Sonic piss than I am, I think. Right. Um, I mean, I like the 2D Sonic games. It um, is 2D, isn't it? I really like Sonic Mania. Yeah. Uh, I think it was coming out around the same time as uh, Super Mario Brothers Wonder, mm. so that was where my attention ended up going. And I think basically everybody accepts that Super Mario Brothers Wonder is the better game. I think I think that's basically uh, like uncontroversial to say. I mean, I thought it was I thought it was a great game. So yeah, that was kind of where my attention was at that time in terms of two D platformers. Yeah, fair. Uh, someone's posted one of your famous quotes, Fringy. Uh, it's Grumbo in time. Uh. Uh, yeah, no, that's, that, yeah, oh man, that brings me back. Yeah, yeah. It, it sure was Grumbo in time, and it'll be Grumbo in time once more, one day. <laughs> Muller, are you interested in the new Buffy audiobook called, nope, nope, nope. <laughs> Why? What's going on with the Buffy? Uh... It's, no, it's just, uh, it's just it, it doesn't... Anything that occurs in the timeline after the show ended... Just oh, no, yeah, nothing, nothing it happened. Good, huh? They all got frozen nothing in carbonite, happened, the whole universe. Right, yeah. Nothing ever happened ever again. <laughs> it's, it's all stopped. Uh, they've mentioned... <sighs> <laughs> oh, no. It's, it's just, of course. <laughs> so, I mean, it's, I'm trying to... The character that... Uh, why, why am I struggling? I'm trying to say what the get across to Fringy which character they're talking about without saying mm -hmm. their name. Um, you know the the. It's, I'm just gonna say Cordelia doesn't really matter actually because Rags have no fucking clue what I'm talking about. Uh, apparently in the audiobook she becomes a Slayer. How? I no, I don't want to know. Actually, <laughs> just, it's just it's just like whatever. What the fuck ever. Okay. Sure. Not interested. You enjoy. Nope. I'm glad that they, uh, you know, a bunch of the cast got came back to do the characters that they love to do. It's that's great, and I hope they get more. But I'm Buffy and Angel to me is uh, start and finish with the TV shows. All I need. Mm -hmm. Chihuahuas are tragic. After generations of messed up breeding, their skulls are often too small for their brains, causing constant irritability and headaches. Poor buddies. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. I mean, they're often oh. the um, the proverbial poster child for like badly breeding animals. How it's not, you know, how it can be done very poorly and unethically. Hi, Rex. Hi. Y'all missed the piranha line in Source Six as well as the downright slick line. Mola said, "Hey, we couldn't catch all the memes, all right? But I think we got the important mm. ones, mainly being Hoffman. He was, he was in our memory. <laughs> just Hoffman's very presence is a meme. Wasn't it, uh, of itself. I think Metal told me, like, is Saw got delayed until next year, unfortunately? Yes, Saw 11 sad. is coming out next year now, unfortunately. 
the the fabled Hoffman soul. We have to wait even longer, but maybe, maybe. Uh... Um, did you guys see Fringy is in Spawn now? Sorry, but YouTube won't let me didn't. post a link. I didn't know that. Fringy, congratulations. Oh, is that like a plague doctor in like the Spawn comics now? Oh, nice. Perhaps. Hmm. A shilling for Fleam Supreme. Thank you very much. A shilling for Grumbo Wumbo. Ah, I gave a shilling each. Uh, not All to right. be biased, you know? More yeah. just use your phone to math. Yeah, that was retarded on my part. I should have just had my computer calculator up the whole time. <laughs> I figured that I was only ever going to be dealing with basic addition, which I was, but, you know, adding a sub Like, if I, it was like 49 plus 57, negative 23, I was like, oh shit, fuck, wait, hang on. Uh, oh my, God. <laughs> my brain, my brain, it hurts. Uh, Coraline EFAP ever? Best thriller movie? Hi, Rags. Hello. I, I still need to see Coraline. That's that was kind of on our list to do. We need. To I do could that. see us doing a stop motion arc. That would be really cool. I that would, would be, really like yeah, that. Like I would really like the idea of doing an odd arc or something. That would be great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the Wallace and Gromit's Chicken Run. Uh, even you know onto other stuff like Pirates, the stuff that they did later. Yeah, Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah. No, the Pirates <laughs> in an Adventure with Scientists. That was a good movie. Good movie. Oh, yeah, yeah. An underrated movie. It's a shame that we didn't get more. They wanted to do more of like, you know, like pirates in an adventure with cowboys and stuff. And it's like, damn, man, that would have been really fun. Yeah, going oh, to the Old West. Yeah. Seems like it'd be a cool thing to do. Just like culture clash, have the pirates interact with all of these like realms and places that are just so unfamiliar to them. Comedy gold. Uh, unrelated to today's topic, check out One Piece. It's no the shootest, but I enjoyed it. it was great to see JX's acting debut. Hi, Rags. Hello. We did, me and Fringy did actually watch One Piece live yeah. action. Yeah, I heard decent things. Uh, I enjoyed it. I liked it, yeah. It's got potential, and I like the way they did a lot of things. It was a, it was a cool, fun show. I like that they embraced the uh, absurdity of, of, uh, of, of the original story. Yeah. Instead of like, if if it was like, it's you know, kind of, hey, instead of like running away from the thing that people like, why not just embrace it and play why it not, totally straight? Why not give people what they like? <laughs> yeah. what? People don't know what they like. Yeah. We're here to explain it to them. Mm -hmm. Sweet crispy critters, Grumbo, pick it up, and oh, indeed well, they did. I mean, yes, they got real close at the end though. Again. Uh, Rags, a while ago you mentioned some $900 headphones you were thinking about buying. Can you remember what they were called? I need some new ones. Um, yeah, I can get those in a second here. Let All me right. check. <laughs> Imagine Rags got uh, Hitler wrong. So my biggest regret, I think, was not making Hitler a um, the special guest. Like, you have to guess his exact spot, and you can Did do you that at any point. Did you almost say special guest? Did no, you almost say special guest? Special spot did. or something. Special, no, special guess. Like, special guest. Or special guest. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> the, the, uh, uh, let me get this real quick. And it would have been worth, like, 500 points for each team, you know, whichever they finally... But it sacrifices, like, a whole turn, you know. You can do it whenever you want, but the second you try and guess him... Which it wouldn't have taken long, because I, I think he was he was pretty high George up, Washington. right? I can't believe George Washington and Abraham Lincoln <laughs> weren't on that. I still can't believe that. Jimmy Carter, but no Washington or Lincoln. I, was Jefferson even on there? I don't, oh, I don't remember. Fuck, I, can't remember. I think Jefferson was on there. I think he was, yeah. I think, he I think of all the him. ones that would be on there, I feel like he would have a really strong contention because of how. Well, I think after we started to realize it was, um, what the metric was to do with like how often they were being cited on Wikipedia, right? Something like that. Something like that. Something like that. So Something somebody like that. who had written more was uh, more likely to. That's the reason why there were so many philosophers showing up on, on the list. Uh, also, yeah, those. Uh, those headphones are the Dan Clark Audio Aeon 2 Noirs. E. Oh, wow. That's a whole bunch of words that, that seem to kind of just be picked I think, random. I think, I think Dan Clark Audio is the company, and it is the Aeon 2 Noir. But, uh, yeah, I think he's... Uh, I might buy him from him, because he's upgrading. So he might give me them... Not give me them, but sell them to me at a... You know, a used rate, so I might do that. Because I've had these, I have I use an ATH AG1X, which is a headset, but I really like the audio quality, and it's very comfortable. So I've been using these for quite a while. 
Fair enough. Uh, if one is 100 points, then three is 98, not 97. Yeah, the way I did it was all numbers <laughs> reflect opposite, as in 92 is 2, 2 is 98. Sorry, 98 is 2, and yeah, 2 is 98. There was no 100. But was when, yeah. One got you, you... Oh, was it number 1 got you 100, but then yeah, number, number 1 was, was 100, and number 100 got you 1. So it was like it was slightly off yeah. in terms of a consistent rule, but I was like, hey, whatever. <laughs> That's close yeah. enough. <laughs> uh, this list is rigged. It truly was. I don't know who was rigging it for what, the but it Jimmy was rigged Carter in some way. Were <laughs> <Yeah. pretty good. laughs> Hashtag Grumbo Gang, Grumbo Wumbo, Grum Bros, and Fleem Cringe. Oof. We're Fleem Cringe, Grum huh? Bros. Make sure uh, to kiss your Grum Bros. bros. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> I'm late and confused. What are we going? It was uh, yeah, it was a crazy quiz game. It's, what it's are we going? <laughs> a little out of the out of the usual, you know. Rags in his head. Why does Mola always say hi to me? Probably his dementia making him forget I'm here. Poor guy. Also, hi me. I mean, you know, Rags is happy. Of all the dementias I could have, it would involve me saying hello to him. He's, uh, he's we happy get to, to be greeted. Remember the first time we met? No? You can keep it over and over. Mm -hmm. A new experience, you know? Sonic Superstars is a bad game. Ooh. Damn. Oh, no, the fighting begins. The fighting but begins, I... yeah. Right, Sonic yeah. Mania was really good. Sonic fans can fight about whatever i don't know and it is so interesting like the, the nature of how mario transitioned into 3d like masterfully <laughs> meanwhile sonic it's just been like this perpetual struggle to figure out what exactly should a should a 3d sonic game aspire to be it's getting there <laughs> it'll figure uh, it out eventually i feel like they got there with generations and uh and then they were like nah let's not do that anymore <laughs> I don't know. It's so weird. I remember like playing Sonic Unleashed for the first time and thinking, man, the daytime levels are like really good, but then I have to play most of the game in the shitty werewolf sections or the werehog sections. I was like, oh my god. Like, yeah. like, how hard is it? How is it that when you made the daytime sections, you didn't realize like, oh shit, we should probably just do this for the whole game. Ugh. You said werehog. I know. That's what he was. He was that's a what werehog. He was called. I remember it was uh it was like Eggman he, he got like the Chaos Emeralds and, and he used the Chaos Emeralds to like split the world apart into big chunks and and for some reason that turned Sonic into a werehog as well. It makes like, sense. Yeah. Um Hiya folks. What line slash lines do you think a villain has to cross to make a redemption arc virtually impossible to justify? I don't I don't. Th I think there are some things you could do that are so bad and thorough that you just don't have the ability in your lifetime to redeem yourself. But an attempt can be made, which is not meaningless. Like well, I don't uh, think Hitler know... could ever redeem himself. He's just he's done. He did too many bad things that it's just beyond the scope of a normal human lifespan to be able to redeem yourself. What's the nature of Darth Vader's redemption? You know, it's like well, he died. So what would it have looked like for Darth Vader if he had survived the encounter with the Emperor? It's like, well, he wouldn't have just been off scot-free, no way. Like, that would have been He'd untenable. be going to prison. Yeah, he, he would be. There would, there, would, there would have to be more than, than what he did, but for him to have done it and then died, right? It's like, well, all right, well, you know, like, the nature of that redemption is going to be viewed differently than, like, redemption for a, for a villain who, you know, survives and then... It's like, well, there's still more to be done. There's still more to do. It's like, you're not off the hook yet. Well, and it's hard for some people to, like, everyone's going to disagree, right? If a character, let's say, kills somebody, and it's like, how much do they have to do to, to undo that? Everyone's going to disagree on the line in which they've paid for their dues, so to speak. Um, and then part of the discussion when it comes to, you know, films and TV shows has to do with a level of, like, almost acknowledgement on the part of the story about, like, who the villain is and the nature of the bad things they've done. And, like, how culpable they are for that. Or, like, how much sympathy the, the story is trying to give to them. I mean, you know, like, Wanda, right, in, in the MCU. That's, like, a case where, well, you know, she did some bad things, but, like, you gotta understand her, right? Like, she, you know, it was the dark hole, and, ah, uh, she yeah, just the, wanted... She was really things. sad, and, yeah, you know... Yeah, so and sad, like, yeah. Okay, well, what, okay what, like, what are we doing here, <laughs> you know? Yeah, well, you know what? Was, Hitler like... was sad, so now what? Was Hitler hot as her, though? Oh... Ooh, wow. It's another aspect you've got Maybe. to consider. How hot is the person we're trying to redeem? That's, uh, How hot into... are they, and do I want to fuck them? Exactly. So, yeah, you know, it's uh, a lot that goes into it. It's hard to say any particular ruling, but there's lots of different ways 
to approach it, I think one of the key aspects is convincing the audience that the character themselves feels that they have changed and they understood what they did wrong. Um, yeah, definitely. Really quite difficult to do sometimes, but that's going to be super important. I if it was an important part of it as well as acknowledgement in some way, shape, or form by the story, which will mainly be through the characters of, like, the nature of the wrongdoing and the nature of what it means to, to like, attain redemption for that character. If it feels like the story doesn't even fully, like, if it feels like the story doesn't even, like, agree with you as the, as, like, the viewer on the nature of the bad things that they did, that can make it really, you know, it's the Wanda thing, right? She'll get redeemed by the films, but, like, there's a mismatch between, like, how the film recognizes her actions and how, like, a normal viewer is gonna recognize and understand the actions, the motivations, the mechanics at play, um, and what it would mean to turn it around. Like, what does it mean to make up for certain choices? Uh, hey, Massives, what did you guys find to be the hardest, easiest, and your favorite EFAB anniversary episode, if you have one? Uh, I remember the hardest for me was, I think it was 150 because I barely got any sleep before it happened. Poor Fringy. Poor yeah. Fringy, I remember. Um, yeah, I, uh, because I had something the day before, the night before, that I uh, couldn't move, and so, yeah. <laughs> like, four hours of sleep for 26 hours of being alive. I uh, think for me, they've gotten easier as we've gone along. I think so, I, too. I, the last one was the easiest. I think me. so, yeah. Uh, hardest for me was probably 100, because I think that was 31 hours I was up for, and that's not including anything other than just EFAP live time. So yeah. it, was, uh, it was a bit grueling. I remember I showed up twice. Like, I was there yeah. that <laughs> night, and I went to sleep, and then I was out, and then I come back, and it's like, oh, hey, guys, you still going? And then, uh, I mean, it was said at the time, it was like, what's your favorite? It's like, well, I mean, 100 was hyper-special, the amount of, like, special events mm -hmm. we had happen on it. Um... But, you know, the, all the episodes have been really fucking good, but this, it, you can't actually repeat what happened on 100. It's, uh, that is what it is, mm -hmm. and it's, it was wonderful. But, uh, they also said, also, Fringe plays, uh, oh, wait, never mind. Oh, because you have played Soma now. Haha, -ha, nice. That's right, I have ah. played Soma, and it was, dude, I still think about Soma. <laughs> Just yeah, every now it's one that then. definitely, mm -hmm. it definitely keeps <laughs> you thinking. Oh. I love Soma. What an ending. Also, yeah. play Little Nightmares and High Rags. Hello. Uh, told Metal to make you guys play Out of Wilds? Do it. Hmm, maybe someday. Maybe. Hmm, yeah, maybe. Uh, it's Fleem versus Grumbo. The War of Wombo hath begun. Did indeed. The Behold. War of the Wombo. My awesome milestone. Behold. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Uh... It's their fault they didn't remember Washington, let them sink. I'm trying to remember, mm -hmm. did, did one of the teams forget Washington at some point? Uh, yeah, There's no I way we... That, I I, someone forgot, I don't know if... Yeah, it must have been then. Why would they say Washington if it wasn't Washington? I know Do that they we mean must George Washington or another Washington? The state? I, I, no, I, no, I think it might have been because uh, I, think, I think my first guess was Abraham Lincoln. And then, and then I, th I definitely guessed Washington, but I think there was a question of whether or not I did, or if I like, I guessed a different president. Uh, this is fun, but the acid is kicking in, and I promised myself I'd start Lord of the Rings Extended this weekend. I got to finish House of Usher too, Bly and Hill next. Wow, a lot of great content That's, in a row. Uh, Hope you survive. Yeah, you got a lot on your plate. I'm thinking. Mm hmm. Thank you for giving me something to look forward to after work tonight, Mr. Longman. No problemo. Dev's favorite composer is Debussy. Ah, Claude. Claude Debussy. Oh, yeah, of course, yes. Or Debussy. <laughs> Depending uh, on if you're a true fan or not. Probably not going to understand a word of this, EFAB, unless I start from the beginning, right? Anyway, you Dumbos should start at the beginning of DDLC. Ah, I see, nice. But yes, uh, it's probably the, an EFAP your best, definitely starting from the beginning rather than in the middle. Mm -hmm. uh, really fun EFAP, by the way. Thanks, team. No problemo. I like to mix it up a little bit. And we will do that kind of one again. Next time it'll be fictional characters. I'm still... And I'm sure that won't make anybody angry. Yeah, when, when, <laughs> when they figure out who's... It's going to be anybody past 50 that anyone likes. They're going to be like, why the fuck are they there? It's like... Uh... <laughs> 
I just got here. Now what in the Don's beautiful smile is going on? What kind of wombology was used to create this? Mootle's beard, I'm confused. I think it was self-explanatory. You know, it made sense. I think so. Straightforward. I'd like to humbly request Fleem vs. Grumbo merch. <laughs> Perhaps someday. Please don't make Jimmy Carter an EFAP mean. Let the poor man rest in peanuts. He's not dead. Well, that, maybe that's why they said <laughs> rest in peanuts. Because he's not dead. Well, he's just he resting with his peanuts. He's going to sleep with a bunch of peanuts around yeah, him. Yeah, like, not, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> These are my peanuts. My presidential peanuts right here with me. Mmm. Uh, the devs of the game admitted the Lord of Ring Gollum apology was written using AI. Absolutely pathetic and hilarious. Yep. <laughs> oh, oh, I just thought of I thought Classic. of a peanut thing. His final words could be like, "Now I, I too shall become an empty shell." Oh, jeez. Oh, that's right. a good one. Oh. That's a bit. Oh man. No, no, no. Dark, isn't it? No. Oh, you think that's dark? No, I think that's I like know, happy and hopeful. Like I Maybe. too, Happy and I, I too shall become. I don't know. Oh, no, an like empty I, shell. I am passing away. Like my life, you know, brought joy and everything, and now I'm leaving behind an empty shell. In much the same way that a peanut, you know, which is a temporary thing, leaves behind an empty shell, and I, in a way, have become a thing that I love. Now I am become shell. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. May, this is pointless. It has to be just rags. And, and we'll have to see if he can do it. Because they say, name the movie and Friggy will be the fastest. As if me and Friggy would guess this immediately. So it's going to have to just name be Name the rags. movie and it's Friggy from a quote. will be the fastest? Yes. Well, that that technically is a clue, but I think you'll get it anyway. The quote is, keep the, keep the sand out of your weapons, keep the actions clear, we'll see you on the beach. Oh, that's uh, Saving Private Ryan. Yeah, I, yeah, I mean, obviously, I was <laughs> just sitting here like, yeah. I mean, it's like one of the first lines in the film. So, yeah. And also, just, I'll see you on the beach, I feel like, is a big giveaway, you know? Well, yeah, I especially like reference to guns beach, and the beach. Yeah. and Yeah, yeah just... exactly. What else this are you going to be thinking about? What's well, Master Chief's first line in The Silent Cartographer? Keep your actions clear, I'll see you on the beach. Wow. Well remembered. Hmm. I, didn't, I didn't remember that. As a fellow history nerd, I am happy to see Fringy and Theo be so good at this. Go Grumbo to the panel. Do you play RTS games like the Total War series or Paradox games? No. Uh, the closest thing I did to an RTS was I, I play a little StarCraft 2 here and there. But um, I don't really play big grand strategy games. I played Civ 4, 4 and 5 back in the day. But that was a long time ago. I haven't played a games like that in a while. I, I, I don't play a whole lot of uh, strategy games. Um, uh, I played Stellaris. That was Paradox. Great so soundtrack. Uh, yes, yeah, uh, Stellaris has an awesome soundtrack. So good. Um, and as for yeah, the, Theo was uh, Theo was like really good on um, on like philosophers, which ended up appearing <laughs> a lot on yes. the list. So that was that was very helpful. Uh, some of them for me, I, I remember like seeing names, and then I think it was a matter of some people referring to them by their first names while they listed like with second names, or vice versa. And I was like, I don't know if that is who that is. I need to check. Well, yeah, because <laughs> wasn't it? Um, because I think uh, one of uh, our team's earliest guesses was the Buddha, but he wasn't listed as the Buddha. He was listed with his uh, name. Yeah, which so, is Yeah. Uh, well, I actually, I, I feel like I, I, I can't pronounce his name. Uh, I always mess it up. Uh, so, let's make a game of the Wings quote of the day. I will give you three quotes. Two real and one fake. Which is fake? Alright, so here are the three quotes. One, I hate all the CIA lopping people do on me. Two, why are people so interested in my pooping habits? Three, I never gave that kid multiple enemas. That's good. You, know, you don't want one of your famous quotes to be, Yeah, I gave that kid multiple enemas. Well, one of these is fake, so it might not. That one might not be true. One of them oh, is yeah, fake. True. One oh, of them okay. is. Uh, what was the first one again? I hate all the CIA lopping people do on me. <laughs> um, I, I, I think that one's the fake one. Uh, I post them in text because obviously I, they've posted the answer, so I can't really participate. But you and Rags can give a vote before I reveal the truth. <laughs> I feel like the movie habits one is definitely real. 
<laughs> like that one too. <laughs> that one's gonna be real. <laughs> so I, I'm I'm gonna go ahead and guess that uh, the first one is the one that's uh, fake. Oh, I feel like the multiple enemas one. That's it's so. Spe oh, I don't know. Maybe it's specificity is why he was. Maybe he said like that. Someone claimed that he gave someone many enemas, and he's like, "No, there's no way." What was the middle one again? Sorry, <laughs> I posted him. The first one is the CIA. <laughs> the CIA laughing. <laughs> CIA. Uh, I think the first one's fake. Yeah, that's what I'm at. So, all right. All right well, the fake quote is number two. Oh, no. <laughs> Come on. Pooping oh, well. habits. It's a shame because that's the funniest one. <laughs> Which means the, uh, you know, you get good at, you're so familiar with his quotes that, uh, who post these that they, they, they can make believable fake ones. Not bad. Uh, hey guys, thanks for all the hours of entertainment. This game was really fun. Also looking forward to the rest of Saw. You guys have a good one. Hope you enjoyed it and thank you. Uh, whenever Star Wars does a thing, I picture the meme with Homelander sitting in the theater with a sour expression, but instead it's George Lucas. I don't think he cares anymore. That's the impression I, I think I he's get. beyond that. I don't even think that he's like, yeah, what's happening is even mine. This has just gone so far beyond. He's like, man, yeah. I have six billion dollars or something, you know? Well, I, I heard, I um, I think it was Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers saying last time he was, like, spotted publicly, he looked frail. Like, so he's oh, probably in, in that era of his life where if someone said, like, what do you think about what Disney did in the latest episode of Star Wars? He'd be like, what the fuck are you? I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know what Star Wars is anymore. Like, not like, you know, like he's lost his mind, but more so in terms of just how far it's gone that he hasn't even, he would have no idea what the fuck all of the shows and movies even are now. And there's a lot that's happened since he's been involved. A lot, a lot of shows, a lot of movies. Well, and correct me if I'm wrong, similar... it's been, Disney's owned it for 12 years now. Yes, well, uh, yes, I believe so. In Insane. a similar vein to what you were saying about your Buffy thing, and how you don't think about anything after the show, there is that element of where I'm very safely and securely, like when I think of Star Wars, Star Wars ends with on Endor, where all of our heroes are happy, and the Empire's been basically defeated, and... You know, we, we, we get our little force ghosts of Yoda and, and, and the boys, and that it's all, it's done. The story is finished, and it's over, and they all lived happily ever after, and don't talk about it. <laughs> That's just kind of where I feel that it's my safe little, oh, wasn't that a great three movies? Well, wasn't that a great two and a half movies? And then they made the prequels. Oh, that's some, nice, that's some flavor there. Uh, <laughs> all right, moving on with our lives. We can go talk about Lord of the Rings again. Howdy, Rags. Scritches for the good Hello. boy. Thank you. I know you like unbridled topics being a secret, so can you at least say yes or no to the next being one of the following? Flash, uh, Indy 5, or Bobby? Wow. What a trio. What a, yeah, what a great set of movies. Uh, no, no intentions on covering them any further than we did through uh, EFAB. Man, the Flash movie. And Indy 5. Yeah, that, those? that came out about a year ago. Oh, it did. I films. remember... I remember it. I, it's it's an unforgettable experience, but that isn't a credit to the film, like it is to many films that might be described similarly. And the Marvels came along and beat it out in terms of being the biggest <laughs> bomber of 2023. Hold my beer for sure on that one. Uh, yeah. Victory for Grumbo. Go, go, Team Grumbo. They did win. Yeah. Uh, Mihai, Cheek Sent Mihai, Bigidius, Hiddle Subtleties, John Adams, The Spider Prophet, and Gay Pinto Walsh got shafted. They should have been on the list, but whatever. I gotta People be honest, I don't rigged. remember the origin of Gay Pinto Walsh. That was one of the latest art EFAPs we did, I think. It was about the modern art world, and I, I could have sworn there's a guy he was citing called... Uh, so, like Pinto Walsh, and then we made a joke about how he was gay. <laughs> I don't even remember. But like, it'll be at efab.me probably if you want to know the origin, Rex. It'll be all there. Uh, but to be fair, do you remember the origins for all the other philosophers? I think so, yeah. Yeah, Begidius was Big Ideas. Um, there was, who were the other ones? Idle Subtleties. Wait, Big Ideas was, oh, was that, was that from the Brown Table video? Well, yeah, when I mean origins, I mean like, you know, how specifically do you remember? Because this is uh, some ancient lore. Some of them are ancient. Yeah. Some of these are quite ancient. 
Hard to uh, remember. Which, yeah, some of them. A lot of them, you just, you just, uh, they just stick with you. you know? mm -hmm. uh, Mubes released the Austin Powers fab, also high rags. Hello. In, in due time, in due time. Did Jimmy Carter make the YouTube list? You should have. Most, most popular YouTubers of all time, you should be in there. Uh, with this list on your minds, play Gartic Phone, please. Oh, because Jimmy Carter would show up in loads of it, I guess. <laughs> yeah, we do our best to draw Jimmy Carter. Yeah, we'll be Googling Jimmy Carter. What does he Carter. look like again? <laughs> Animal of the day is the red-lipped batfish. Uh, oh, I think I know about this one. I feel like we may have covered this one before, actually, or someone sent it in. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> look at him. Red lip. Now the red lipped part, I get. It requires no elaboration. Mm -hmm. No. However, I was talking about stubble. Part. Yeah. Yeah. That's funny. <laughs> That's I like really how, how unimpressed he looks. Like, don't yeah, fucking he looks laugh a at me. Grumpy. He looks. He's he's heard it all before. Yeah, he knows. <laughs> And when people still make fun of him, it still makes him angry. <laughs> They're like, do your worst. And we got oh, the, let uh, me guess. You think I have red lips, huh? The Ooh. extinct animal of the day is Kakops, the frogs, the, sorry, the frog salamander crossover. Nobody asked for, except maybe Fringy. Oh, look at wow, him. It's an artist rendition. Like? <laughs> I think we've seen this one before. I feel like I've definitely seen this before. He's pretty cool looking. Yeah, he's cool. I don't know why you'd be saying nobody would want to see it. This is awesome. It's, look, not very look at him it's not very flattering to show him getting eaten by that other big guy, though. No, he is the big guy, right? Oh, my goodness, this changes everything. Yeah. He's a, yeah, he's... <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's... <laughs> he, he, like, his eyes are closed. He's like... Mm, yeah, he's like, <laughs> I got you. I'll do this one with my eyes closed. It's all of them, Frank. Well, unless it's the uh, you don't open your eyes when hunting. The, the thing in the eye, the the membrane, the oh yeah, the thing that, uh, that like lizards have, a lot of lizards have, and even some mammals have. Might be that. And with that, it's the final message of the episode two five five, the quiz game. Thank you so much wow. for sending in your messages, your kind donations, and I suppose yes, we shall see you next time, folks. Toodle beep. See you later. Yeah, goodbye, everybody. We will see you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.